Hi, I'm Jennifer Marie Keller. Sit back and relax while you watch me develop this new painting that I'm working on. This is part one of this project. I'm drawing the image on with paint. So I've mixed up a shadow color and that shadow color is black, cadmium red light, and yellow ochre. It looks a lot like um, raw umber, but I really like mixing up my own version of raw umber. And then I'm also going to be using white chalk, white chalk to draw the lights in. And this is all being done with dry brushing. So I'm not using any medium. It's just the paint and white chalk that I'm using to develop the, the drawing. You can see that, so this time I made a grid on my canvas and I don't normally do this, but my setup really provided a perfect example that I could be doing a, a grid. So the grid will just help me to get the drawing down faster. So uh, to put the grid on, I used white chalk. So when I, the lines are white chalk. So when I paint over it, it just um, takes the chalk right right up and I'm not um, redrawing those lines so once the paint makes those white chalk lines of the grid disappear I just leave them gone because it's it's really just aiding me to um, to get the the initial proportions and measurements of the drawing down so I can get the drawing in faster and so for my setup that I have right beside my painting. Um, it's this Venetian mask surrounded by flowers in this wooden box. And so for the, the wooden box, I have a grid there as well. So I just taped up thread that um, mimics the same grid that you see on my canvas. And I'm doing this all side size as well. So the, uh, the painting that I'm working on is the exact same size as the wooden box. And so the Venetian mask that I'm painting is the exact same size as the, the actual Venetian mask from, um, uh, from my viewing spot. So it makes me um, be able to draw this a lot faster. So I'm not doing um, really comparative measuring to get it down, but doing a site size measurement instead. So uh, this is me working in my new studio in California and this is the first serious project that I've done in it and I'm finally starting to get into a really nice flow <laughs> now. Um, like I said I, I work, I'm working this site size so I have a viewing spot and then the viewing spots as far away as I can be from my um, from my canvas and this setup. And so I walk forward to my canvas to put down marks and to be painting on it. And then I walk backwards to my viewing spot. So it's a lot of walking forward and walking backwards. And um, this studio is a bit smaller than the studio that I had at my school that I just graduated from. So uh, I would run into the back wall a lot and because I'm trying to like just focus on the painting and not my surroundings so much but I feel like um, working on this project now I'm starting to get get into a better flow and get used to the studio that I'm in now so I'm not so much focusing in then on my surroundings but I can really just like keep all my brain power just working on the painting and just focusing on painting which is nice. It seems like always the beginning of every painting that I work on, I feel unease about it until I really start to feel the structure of what I'm drawing start to appear. And once I get the, the drawing feeling really, really solid, like the object has weight to it, then it just, it's, it's really exciting and it's a really exhilarating feeling for me. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do now with the with the shadow paint color and the white chalk. 
just to get the drawing of the objects down, the, the Venetian max, mask, the box, and the flowers around it just to feel um, solid and have those objects feel real, like there's a real sense of light on them and that they have weight to them that they actually exist in in space. And that's a really good feeling once I start to get that and then it gets really, really, really fun <laughs> to keep working on it. And like I said at the beginning, I'm really dry brushing on all the paint, meaning that I'm not using any mediums or oils to mix in the paint. I'm just using the pure paint on a brush. And I really like that feeling and the effect that that gives. It gives this fuzzy atmospheric impression. In, impression. And it, it feels a lot similar to working with charcoal. And um, for me that I really prefer working or starting to paint off this way with dry, with dry brushing. And if I need to erase something or lighten the shadow color up, I will take a bit of paper towel and just rub it off the canvas that way. So it acts like an eraser, which is also very similar to working with charcoal. And then the same with using chalk. I will either take a clean brush and rub the clean brush on a spot of chalk on the canvas to either lighten that up or erase it completely, or I'll use my finger and either dab my finger on it to lighten the chalk up or rub it a little bit more aggressively to take it completely off. And yeah, drawing with paint and chalk this way just feels really incredible, really incredibly flexible and forgiving. This still life that I'm working on is um, kind of a pretty complicated still life in that there's a lot of small parts to it. Like the flowers are a lot of small drawing parts with all the stems and all of the petals. And also the, Vene the Venetian mask is pretty complicated as well in the fact that there's a lot of intricate details on the mask, which also I think makes it really beautiful. Um, it's something that I'm sure my teachers at the Ravenswood Atelier would have advised me to not do a setup like this because it's difficult with all these small things to keep something really unified and graceful and, and simple. But um, I'm pretty excited about the challenge of this with keeping having these small aspects to it and really picking out what's actually important about them and what's not and I can leave out details in certain aspects to really keep the the one message of the painting and not get carried away with all these details that might be unnecessary or detract from it so this is going to be a really fun challenge for me to get this um, but I'm also really excited as well with how I can be I have all these different materials so the wooden box, this Venetian mask um, with all these little carvings in it, and then petals and stems of flowers that different ways that I can be applying the paint and different things that you can do to manipulate paint while it's still wet or while it's or when it's dry um, to really push paint as far as it can go to show a lot of variety to show the different materials and to give the different feeling of the materials that are in this painting. I think that's going to be really fun for me to explore and it's going to be a really really fun challenge okay so once i get the drawing feeling really solid and i'm getting more satisfied with it that way the shadows are separated from the light so there's a strong light shape and shadow shape um i step back and i'm judging what would be most efficient for me to do next to really get this closer the painting closer to what i'm seeing in my setup and so I think the next best thing that I want to do is um, to show those subtle punches of color around the mask. So there's green in the stems and the purple of the dried flowers and then there's lighter browns in the wooden box. So um, for adding these different colors I'm starting to use my medium now so I can get the paint to flow off my brush a little bit better and I start putting in 
these colors, which does, I feel like does help get it a little bit, it does help get it closer to nature, to what I'm seeing. I don't know if the camera is quite picking up the the colors as well. I, I'm still also applying these, um, the parts that are in the dark area. So like the purple of the flowers and the, the green stems. I'm keeping pretty dark because I still want to um, show that strong contrast and separation between the, the shadow shape and those I'm really um, simplifying that all into the shadow shape right now. Um, so it has a strong contrast to the light shape. So, But as I develop the, the mask more and the painting as a whole more, then um, I, I'll start to pull off from that shadow shape and the petals and flowers where there there is a bit of light hitting them but it's definitely more subtle than the light that's hitting the the Venetian mask and areas on the wooden box and now usually I would still be dry brushing my paint more even with the colors that I'm adding but I have been reading up on Sargent lately and having paint flow like his is really tempting to play around with so throwing in those colors, I then fix up some of the edges, tighten up my drawing, and part one is complete for this painting process. So thank you for watching and happy painting.